Welcome to episode 7 of Regen Rovers, where today we are fighting for our lives. We're in trouble. Regen Rovers have dropped into the relegation zone. There's always been that threat there, but a few weeks ago we finally dropped in. But there's encouraging signs in the last few games. We're, we're on the road to recovery. I'm hopeful that we can survive. But today, a very tough game against third place Dorchester. However, we've been quite good against the top teams. A must win game against Harry. We beat them earlier in the season thanks to a goal from Matty Ratti. You saw that one. I want to show this one as well because it is huge. Now, the last episode of the season is going to be the next episode, episode 8. I'm probably going to show the last four games and I'm most likely going to use the new YouTube Premiere function which has had a few problems on YouTube, it's why I've not used it yet in this series. But I think for important moments in the series, we need to use that facility. It's a pre-recorded video, but it is, it's like a live stream because you can chat. So you can get involved in what's going on in the video and react live to what is happening in that video. I can watch it back as well with you and talk to you in the chat as well. I, I mean, imagine if we'd had that for the Dr. Jones moment in the first series. That would have been incredible. So I will be using that facility from time to time during the series. It'll be the usual time, 5 p.m., and I'll give you a warning. It will upload on YouTube, and it will show that it's going to be live at a certain time. First youth intake day. It's exciting times. Of course, some of the players are named after the top-tier patrons. Thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And I will go through those players in detail in another Region Rovers Revelations video. I'm just going to go through all the new youth intake players and analyse them and see who we think is going to take us to the top. However, some of the players are already in the first team. You'll notice that Morgan Fawkes, I think he's declared for Wales because it used to say English but he, and he had Welsh as his second nationality. He's born in Dartford in England but maybe he's going to be called up for the Welsh under-19s at some point because he has... The, well, it's changed from England to Wales. So, so the players that I was mentioning in the first team, Perry Miles, only 15 years old, central midfield. I'm going to put him on the bench for today's game against Dorchester. Looks good, actually. Now, I know I set youth recruitment to the max, and I wanted us to be known for our youth. That's why I did that. But all our players, apart from one, is born in Winchester. So it's not like we've gone far afield. They're all English players at this stage. I suppose in time we will have players made from Scotland and the rest of the British Isles, and then eventually from Europe and the world as we progress through the series. The other player is a centre-back, Michael Huxel. Technically not the best, mentally not the best, but physically quite fast for a centre-back. So a different option there. Looks a bit like Perlo. Now, those two players, I've used the What The Fork Gaming's regen faces that she created herself. So that I gave them the option, the patrons the option of having their own face if they wanted to. So they've replaced the old player faces that they originally had. Uh, there's a few others. Um, so we've got Jordan Parks, Richard Powell, Ollie Allenby in the under 23s and the under 18s. There's a few. Sean Simpson, John Bryan, Ben Thomas, Josh Mann, Lil Chat, Herman Marag, Leon Wilson, Rob Halliday, uh, Billy Joe Sugg and Mike DeWolf. I think they're all the players that came through the first youth intake. And like I said, I'll do a separate video uh, detailing and looking at them all in a lot more detail. And I will update the spreadsheet, of course. Now, results. After that terrible episode six, we followed that up with a win against relegation rivals, a team that probably are going down, Swindon Supermarine, and a hat trick, the first ever Regen Rovers hat trick from Sean Walker. Two headers from corners. But his second goal was superb and will probably win Regen Rovers' goal of the season. It was an excellent goal. This is it. As it came from a corner, in fact. Rich, uh, not a corner, throw in. Richard Brown chipped it into the path of Sean Walker on the volley from outside the box. That is a bullet. What a goal. And another Ray Rig corner, headed home by Sean Walker. Put us 3-0 up. They scored a consolation goal. But very important three points. But after that point, three defeats and we dropped into the relegation zone. 2-0 defeat against Tiverton. I thought, we're not scoring. Let's just go for it. And we scored three goals, but Paul Town, our rivals, scored four. Poor defeat in the end against our rivals, I suppose, but at least we put up some fight. At least Morgan Fork scored two goals. Let's have a look at his two goals. And also Kelvin Morrow, our young striker, scored as well. I would say young, but they're, they're all nearly all of them are young, apart from the likes of Chef, for example. I think John Parsons, our left wing, is 22, 23, something like that. We, we just kept trying this with this one. Uh, it was eventually cleared to Matty Ratti, who put a good ball in, and Forks with his through and heading, headed, headed it home. He's, he's tall, but he needs to improve his heading, but that was a good header. Kelvin Morrow scored a second for us. Uh, they went 4-2 up after this point. I thought it was all over, but Forks did manage to get a consolation, another consolation goal. 
Falk's hard work this time around from him. He got the assist, had a really good game after quite a few weeks without scoring. He needed this performance and it was good to see him score a brace as well. He's looking for a hat-trick, looking to follow in the footsteps of Sean Walker. And this, this was a, a nicely worked goal actually and a lovely finish. That's what we need. Falk's in the box. He's a Falk's in the box and we need to get it to him to score those goals. Another goal-heavy game against Staines this time, but we were 3-1 up. And they went down to 10 men, and they still managed to get a 3-3 draw. So, yeah, they were the better team. But how did we throw it away? I just... It's the Regen Rovers way. We throw it away when we're winning. We, we concede late goals. We need to turn that into something else. We need to, the Regen Rovers way to be something completely different. A winning way. So Massey Ratti played it into the path of Moro. It was uh, back to into, into the path of Walker, and this was a delightful three ball. Forks with his very slow pace and acceleration got on the end of it. Tidy finish from him, and he then scored in the second half as well. And I thought we were going to get the win. I thought we'd turned the corner. I thought we're going to be comfortable now. We're going to get back out the relegation zone, but no, we threw it away. But this was a lovely, lovely finish from Forks again. Ratty with a great ball to him. Then we got a 0-0 draw against Met Police, but this is the encouraging thing. We haven't lost since that game against Poole. We have improved. Even Henry Knowles scored, coming up from the under-23s. Our striker on loan. can't remember where he's on loan from, but that, the manager's not been happy about me not playing him. But this was a nice goal from him. He's He's got a bit something a bit different about him because he's got pace. Unfortunately, he can't finish. He's only got three on finishing, but this was a good finish from him to give us a draw. And then finally, a 3-2 win away from home against Taunton. We came from behind on two occasions here and went on to win it thanks to Ben Mullen. But Forks got us back into this game after they went 1-0 up in the 10th minute, playing, it, playing in our white kit today. I need to change my outfit to gold for, for the end of the season to give us more of a chance, I think, of survival. Here's Parsons playing it into Forks. And nice finish from him. They then went 2-1 up thanks to penalty. But I pushed everyone forwards. We were just going for it. I was desperate. We just had to go attacking. And it paid off in the end because we turned it around in great style. I mean, the pressure there found... They cleared it to Mullen. Mullen sort of slowed it down a bit. Rini involved. We're all involved. They managed to get back, in fact. So we didn't really take advantage of the opportunity. But a great cross from Robin Grigg. Rob Griggs on fire, your defence is terrified. And then, an absolute cock up, it's a great goal. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's great for us because we managed to win 3-2, but it is pretty hilarious. Look at that, the goalkeeper, what's he doing? And Mullen scores his first ever goal for the club. So yes, we're in 20th, we're there on goal difference. It's so close, but I'm feeling fairly positive for this game against Dorchester. But let's have fan corner first of all. Some great chance there. Thank you to everyone that sent in a chance. I think my favourite is actually from Hugo. The Matty Ratty one to David Bowie. Rebel, rebel. Matty Ratty, you play on the wing. Matty Ratty, you are the real thing. Matty Ratty, you love pest control. Matty Ratty, you score as a goal. Boom, 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 boom. There he is, Matty Ratty. He's done quite well. Four goals, five assists. I like him. But... I'm playing Mullen today because he got a goal. He got us the winner. We need to. We need him to carry on. He's going to be on the bench, Matty Ratty, along with our youngster Perry Miles and Henry Knowles. Kirkwood's on the bench as well. So this is the journey that Dorchester took to Plumbing Park today. Nice easy route for them. They're going with a 4-2-3-1. Maybe that's why they're towards the top of the table because they're not playing a 4-4-2. You can notice I've pushed Parsons up. It's worked in the last few games. It worked against Taunton. So I'm going to keep with it. Rig was playing at attacking midfield for a while. I've tinkered a lot. And I've come, come up with this, and it seems to be working quite well. I'm hoping Jack Young gives me a new contract. <laughs> I, he's quite happy with me, I think. They're, they're very content, the board. Where are we going, Sean? Oh, no. 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 What a save, Trollope. What a bloody save. <sighs> what was Walker doing? He was walking back to my goal. Don't live up to your name, Walker. It's crossed in, headed away. Uh-oh, edge of the box. Dangerous, over the bar. I have been thinking, should my videos be a bit shorter? I know they've been sort of close to half an hour, these episodes, but people haven't complained. I know some people prefer shorter videos, but there's people that like long videos, and there's a lot in them, aren't there? As we give away a penalty. Walker, you're having a mare. Dear, oh dear. 
And now penalty and it's 1-0. And we've done absolutely nothing in this game so far. Going to demand more. I'm tempted to bring Walker off now. I mean, this was always likely to be a loss against a third place team, but I wanted to pick up some bonus points here. Change the instructions a fair bit. I might go for the counter press and try and close them down a bit now because this evidently isn't working. I have been tinkering a lot in game as well just to try and get results as Trollope catches that. Now counter, counter lads, get up the Trollope. Get rid of it. What are they doing? This is the beauty of non-league football. I'm expecting them to play like Liverpool, but unfortunately we're not. That's Oh, that's a decent ball maybe from Walker. A bit adventurous. We're closing though. It's knocked up the pitch. Come on, Colbran. Heads it. Rini does well. Oh, good ball to Mullen. Mullen. Look at him go. It's out wide to Robin Grigg. That's a decent cross. Fox. Rick. Fox. Oh, we're so unlucky. It's off the post. A few minutes till half time. Can we get back in this? It's headed on. Rini does well. It's into path of Ray Rigg with a wig. Feed the wig and he will score. It's knocked over the top. And Grigg mops up. Trollope into Chef. He's been disappointing, hasn't he, Chef? But I just don't really have anyone else to play there. Rini blasts it up the pitch, looking for Fox. Fox is on the end of it. Fox, finish. No, post. Ah, oh, second clear cut chance. Ah, oh, Fox. I think he's had two clear cut chances. Assertive, show me something else in a second. There we go. It's fired them up. I don't think I need to do anything tactically for the time being because we have created opportunities. You'll notice I'm still wearing this Regen Rovers t-shirt. I've been sitting at the, at the front door waiting for my shirts to arrive from Tribe Fire. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not patient anymore. I haven't been patient at all. I want them to come. I want to show them off to you. Oh, Mullen's having a terrible game apparently. I've got to bring on Matty Ratty. Oh dear, they're around the back. Oh, it's... I think Trollope, did he save it? Did he hit the crossbar? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just see if we can, nope. Right, time to make changes. Mullen, he's coming off for Matty Ratty. He's going up there. Matty Ratty, you got, what's the lyrics? I've forgotten the lyrics. That's the problem. There's four different lines with different lyrics. It's too hard to remember. Forks, what is wrong with you? He's ang do I bring him off? Do I keep the fact, also I forgot to mention I'm playing him as a target man now. Pressing intense intensity higher. Let's go for it. Let's just be brave. We should have got a draw on this game. Forks, you've messed up. Do I take him off? I'm going to give Perry Miles his debut. This is brave, isn't it? Perry Miles, he can't play there. Maybe bring him off Tom Rainey. He's on a yellow card. Play him as a regular central mid... Oh, we can play him on central midfield attack. Get him moving up the pitch. We're just... And Forks, I'm going to I'm gonna take him off. I'm bringing on Miles. Let's see. He's three on finishing. <laughs> three on finishing. But he's got good composure. And he's a little bit pacey. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> He's been sent off for a two-footed challenge two minutes into his debut. He's 15 years old. What is he doing? Oh, Perry Miles. Perry Miles was named by one of the patrons, by the way. So he's, he's, he's special. In someone's heart, he's special. But he's just let us down with an atrocious sack. What is he doing? Imagine if we get relegated because of that. I'm going to move Rig back. We still have to go attacking. We're going to have to look for a miracle now. Can we get it? Richard Brown into Rig. Rig. Decent cross. Caught by the keeper. The funny thing is, I brought uh, Reaney off because he was on a yellow. I thought he'd get sent off. In the end, it's our 15-year-old that gets sent off. That's a great ball. And what a save by Trollope. Trollope is the unsung hero of this, this series. He has been fantastic. He's pulled off some magnificent world-class saves at times. He spread himself. Like a spider to get there. What brilliance. It's not happening. We've lost. I mean, this was an expected result, but we had two clear-cut chances from Forks. He's let the team down today after some positive signs from him. And Rig has picked up an injury by the looks of it. It's a shame. But it was always going to be the next game that we were likely to try and, to, you know, have to win. As they hit the crossbar. Great tackle by Cobra and he's offside anyway. Is this, are they going to score right at the death? No, it's fired wide. <sighs> yeah, Fox will fill. He should have contributed more. I agree, Mr. Commentator. But Perry Miles, pretty much banned for that. I'm going to say unlucky. Because it, it was unlucky overall. 
I find Perry Miles one week wages. Poor old Perry Miles, he's gonna miss out on that five quid a week. I won't be able to buy his weekly packet of Tutti Fruities. So Harrow then. I'm hoping this isn't harrowing and this is actually a delightful game for us because we're in trouble. We're still oh, we're looking at it. We always climbed out of the relegation zone after only a 1-0 defeat because Met Police are on the same goal difference as us. They're ahead of us on goals scored as it stands. It's very, very tight at the bottom. It's us or the police at the moment, uh, but it might all change. I'm going to go with Matty Ratty on the right wing. Matty Ratty. Oh, it's stuck in my head now, that song. Uh, Mullen is coming out of the team entirely. Disappointed me. Now, one player I forgot to mention. I didn't. You, you may have noticed it. You may have noticed it. Willie Young. I have a story to tell you. Now, when Jack Young came to this universe from the other parallel universe through the toilet, he looked, obviously, for his family. He looked for himself. He thought, maybe there's a Jack Young in this universe. There wasn't because his parents never met in this universe. However, his uncle in this universe married someone and they had a son called Willie Young. So technically, this guy is Jack Young's cousin. He would be if, his, yeah, you, you get what I mean. But Willie Young, he's related to Jack Young. He's a left winger rather than a striker. He looks all right. And I'm going to put him on the bench. Why not? Let's stick him on the bench. And the other player to go on the bench in the place of Perry and Miles will be Ray Winter. Winter is coming. Rini will play in at the midfield alongside Walker. I think the rest of the team will stick with, with yeah, Colburn and, and Chef at the back. This is massive. This is the journey that Harrow took to Plumbing Park then. Quite a lot of traffic, but they, they managed to get here on time for the match. You may think, why have I stuck Willie Young ahead of Higgs? But Russell Higgs, he's just not that. His average rating is atrocious. It really is. Apparently, he's a good player. But he's just not done anything for me. So, Willie Young, can he do it for us? It's just amazing that the first youth intake, we've got someone with the last name Young. I know it's not an uncommon for, uh, last name, but still, I love that. Jack Young's cousin from another universe. Let's go for that. Oh, it's motivated Fox. The Harry Potter fanatic. They've gone with a classic 4-4-2. Here we are, ready for the national anthem of Regen Rovers. What would our anthem be? Talking about regeneration. Nothing's happening. I'm demanding more already from that. Oh no, that's pressured them. Uh, it, it, look, they've been the better team. This is this is bad. This is bad. This isn't working. We're going to put pressure on them. We're going to go for it. It seems to work relatively well. I'll just go for a standard defensive line at the moment. In transition, we're going to counter press, distribute quickly. Let's just let's just increase the tempo. Let's let's try. We need a win. We have to beat Harrow. Free kick. Ray Rig crosses it in. Deep cross. Back post. No, no, they're going to counter tackle this guy. Whoever you are, Forks. What? Forks is attempting to defend. He's done quite well, really. But here they come, Moss. Get in there, win it back. Please. I can't be losing against Harrow. It's knocked long. It's over the top. Moss He's round the back. Grig clears. Robin Grig nullifying their attack. Here's Ray Rig by himself. Tackled, trips over himself. Colburn, you've got that. Good. Reeney. Tom Reeney into Matty Ratty. You play on the wing. It's not long for Forks. Forks can capitalise. Forks! He's hit the post again. Second who? For Forks sake. I just... I've just... <sighs> Bloody hell, Forks. <sighs> Walker. Rainy, Walker, Fox this time, Fox, Fox that time. Thank you, thank goodness for that. Fox round the back, and he finishes. One now, calm down, calm down. It's better. It's all good. It's all good. We're gonna win this game. Sean Walker, over the top, looking for Fox again. Fox on the end of it. Fox, cross it in. It's blocked to Sean Walker. Walker to Reedy, Reedy to Fox, yes! Oh, I believed in you always, Morgan Fox. I promise you. I know I collapsed on the floor just then, but I believed in you still. Look at this. We're 2-0 up against bottom of the table, Harrow, as it should be. 
And we're going to keep attacking it for the rest of this half. Rini into Fox. Delightful finish into the corner. Free kick, though, to Harrow. Steps up. Oh, Trollop. What was that? Straight at you. It looked like it anyway. 2-1. They're back in this. How have I injured my two big toes falling on the floor? I don't understand what happened. We're going to continue to attack. Assertively. Go for that. Yeah. Attack. I was very impressed with the efforts up front. Let's start the second half. I mean, perhaps I should slow things down a little bit. Nah, we're going for this. We're going for the jugular. I want Fawkes to get his hat-trick, his first hat-trick for Regen Rovers. It's not clear by the goal. In fact, was that his 20th goal of the season or 19th? He might be on 19. Here's Matty Ratty over the top for Fawkes. Come on, Fawkes, this is your chance for glory. Morgan Fawkes, yes, hat-trick. He's done it. Morgan Fawkes, this is his 20th goal of the season. He's done it. Oh, you hero. Right, now we're going to turn the tempo down a bit. We're going to hit them on the break. We're going to regroup. We're not going to counter press quite the same. We'll absorb the pressure. No need to be as urgent. We're going to distribute quickly. We'll just hit them on the counter now. I need to go to cautious, don't I? Let's look at this then. Matty Ratty, great ball. Matty Ratty, you play on the wing. Forks around the back. And finished beautifully. I'm full of energy today. I have to be. I have to be getting the lads pumping. Assists for Ratty, Rini and Walker. Three goals for Forks. That is beautiful. Ray Riggs is going to come off. He's not had the best game. We're going to throw in Henry Knowles. Going to give... Oh, what, this is the perfect opportunity for young Willie Young. Jack Young will be so proud, even though Willie Young will just be very confused that he's related to Jack Young if he actually admits to that. Hopefully he won't, because people already think Jack Young is, is, is mad. But Willie Young, this looks so good. Young on the left. Willie Young. Go on, do it for me. Do it for Jack Young. Here's Chef. That's a terrible... What are you doing, Chef? No need for that. Chef... Oh, no, Chef. No. Oh, great save, Trollop. You're just... Yeah, you oh, are. Always, always there to, to bail Chef out. Corner to Harrow. Hamilton Forbes. Headed away by Chef that time. Good header. But come on, chase after it. Is that Willie Young? Possibly. I don't know. Here they are. This looks dangerous. Back post. Oh, handball, good. <sighs> Ten minutes to go. It's crossed it. Oh no, where's the marking? Where's the marking? 3 2. Disaster. We're going defensive. Why haven't I been time wasting? That is something I keep forgetting to do time wasting when I'm winning. That's probably the problem. Right. Let's pray this bloody works. I'm going to make another change. I might bring Forks off. He's got his hat trick. He deserves a, a standing ovation. I'm going to swap these. I'm going to move. Win yeah. We're going to have an extra midfielder. In fact, Rini can go there. Hold on, lads. Hold on. We can do this. Knowles has got the pace to cause problems later on if we can lump it long for him. Concentrate. Oh, no. I've overwhelmed them. One minute. Tw ten seconds to go. This is huge if we can hold on for these ten seconds. Walker to win. Just time waste. This is it. This is huge. Are we going to be at the relegation zone? We're well, fine. I should have put the table here. We've won. Forks has won it for us with a seven-minute hat-trick. Fantastic stuff. Passionate. People had written us off. <sighs> that was me just releasing energy then. Calm down. Oh, wow. We're up to 17th in the table with that win. Three points above Met Police. That is massive. But can we stay there for the next few games? You're going to join me in a few games' time for the last four games of the season. It's going to be an epic episode eight. Hopefully... We won't be in trouble, but I can't promise you that. Uh, Beaconsfield next in seventh. We've got Merthyr, who... Where am I going? Merthyr are in fifth. Tough team. So two tough matches. Gosport in third. Cheshire in eighth. We've got teams in and around the playoffs. We could legitimately lose all those games. Kings Langley is big. But then we've got Walton Casuals. Last four games. Walton Casuals, 14th currently. Salisbury, top of the table. We beat them already. Can we do it again? Basingstoke in 10th. Hendon in 19th. Ooh. It's time for Ask the Manager. Today's first question is from Ravsol. How would I like to respond to rumours that Rob Grigg is illegally being employed as a firefighter? Uh, he's not. He's not 18 yet and he's not working as a firefighter. He's working in Greg's and he's an aspiring firefighter. Mickey Shacklock asks, do I read all the comments? I try to, but for example, on a video released three years ago, I'm probably not going to see someone commenting yesterday because that's just not realistic. But yes, I try to read all the comments. And lastly, Joe Bennett asks, what if I get sacked? I cry. And just to end today's video, 
few key stats heading into their last few games of the season. Morgan Fox is our top goal scorer, 20 goals. Sean Walker's got 10. Top assists, Ray Rigg with 9. Matty Ratty's got 6. Most Man of the Match awards goes to Morgan Fox with 4. And the average rating goes to Galvin of all people. Only three games played though. Morgan Fox and Sean Walker both have a 7.02. Thank you for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you haven't done so already. Remember, remember, episode eight. It's a big one. Can we survive? Will it go down to the wire? Join me and find out. Until next time, enjoy FM19. Enjoy Regen Rovers. Enjoy your day. Enjoy life. See you very soon.